Welcome back to the channel, yours truly DJ Sound Expression and today it's all about the clients but let's recap part one to perfect sound check, getting a great sound check. What is it all about? First and first, making sure your cables in order, microphones in order, making sure you keep your speaker boxes looking a particular way, make sure that all the rack gear and everything is cleaned up so the amps don't burn out, make sure you vacuum out especially the amps, clean out the processors and everything, making sure that all the equipment is in tip top shape. Now, that is part one and you can check out that there so on my page, Song EXP246. Yes, that is part one to getting a good sound check. But now today, as I was saying, it's all about the clients now. Now, with the clients, the first thing you have to take into consideration, it is not your production, it is not your idea. You are just facilitating the idea. You are one who, are a bit, who we will consider the help. You must be able to understand what the client wants and offer that package to the client simple understand their vision yes they see things a particular way totally different to you now as a professional you get to offer your input but how you bring it over is very important also you just can't go and tell a client like man that's i really like that idea you know I, th th that's foolishness you doing man you can't do that that ain't make no sense client should fire you as soon as you make a statement like that because you don't understand the person's vision as to what they want now if you find something a little bit odd the way in which you word it is very important you know you could offer suggestions like oh i see where you're going with this but how about we try this or uh, what do you think about this doing this this way a little bit more subtle a little bit more gentle relax yourself remember it's not your production you are there to make the production great also and then once the person understand that you are part of that picture then they will start to listen to your input and to the best that you can they can actually so your input is valid yes as the engineer dj whatever the case is but remember the vision is the client's own now with that said one of the things I always recommend that you do is keep close communication, being able to open the lines of communication, make sure that they understand where you're coming from, make sure you understand where they are coming from. If they want to make a change whereby the event is like all the way down in the next two, three months, they should be able to call you and feel comfortable. Listen, this is what we are thinking of. Uh, let's, let's discuss this here. Um, I got this new idea because as time progress and things unfold, things change and you have to be flexible but within that flexibility all of that is where you will charge for also so that's not a problem and you keep your mind open to these things one thing I always recommend people to do is go and see the venue which is very important and also there you listen to what the client has to say yes you listen intently because what they're saying sometimes they might be missing out certain things they might say oh we this is a church event uh, but we got a few members that want to come and do a little performance nothing too major they might just come and tell you something like that they might not think it as being major they might not understand that you have to get a mixing board you have to get microphones etc they might just say that oh it's a one person thing or a little two man thing but realistically from what they say it might sound like a full-on band might be coming so yes roger and john might be coming to do a little setup it's drums and a guitarist drum and a guitarist okay cool but you might say to yourself but aren't there other acts going on there that night etc and the person might say oh yeah we got we are a keyboardist coming we also have a few saxophonists so then now you starting to think along the lines of a band and not just one man, one man thing because eventually they might say, man, let's all do a little half an hour jam session together. We got these five songs that we rehearse like little five songs, six songs, and let's do a little jam session for the arm um, thing. So then you don't want to be out in the cold whereby you turn up now with a song system that can't cater for that project. So sometimes you have to read beyond what the client is saying and also factor that into your charge and with your charge you could do it in such a way that if it was not necessary and is no expense to you whatsoever you might be able to say hey listen 
um, after this event, I got back all of my equipment and we found everything in tip top condition. So we are giving you a refund for this. You know, you could, you could ease things like that. You just have to be smart. It's all about being using your head in business so that you can move to the next level. And then the client will just say, oh, why well, thanks. We weren't expecting this or whatever the case is, you know? And that might help you secure another project along the line, maybe two months from now that they might be looking at doing. So it's a lot of little things like within the setting up that you have to look at so that you are prepared for it. Anytime you hear about speeches, trust me, there will be somebody that wants to sing there will be somebody that will be talking, talking, talking. You might need more microphones than you actually think you need. Simple. You know, so you always be prepared. Make sure that you have the adequate amount of gear because most clients try to even sidestep you and make, make it look like, oh, they don't need all of these things. But if you know what you're doing, you would say, yes, you do need these things. And if they're not talking about thing, you bill it into your charge, put it into your bill, give them it so they have like one flat rate that they can see what this whole thing would cost. And in doing that, you would end up making sure that when somebody come on a stage with like a ukulele and uh, some instrument that they create in their backyard or whatever the case is, that you are prepared. That the people saying like, oh, we didn't expect all of this, sir, but now that you think about it, oh, yeah, 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 we need all of this. You know, so all of this is part of the sound check, understanding the client, understanding what you will need for the event by going and look at the venue, seeing how much speakers you will need, how much amplifiers, uh, other processing gear like mixers, how much microphones, how much lining cables you will need. All of these are things that you will need to check on on location also the acoustics of the room you need to understand that how can you use the acoustics to help boost your sound rather than just pushing the amps hard how could the acoustics of the room help with your sound all of these are things that you will look at so that you don't need to bring out maybe you might have a room that is very echo when you clap there's an echo fluttering going through the place and you might say you know what i don't need as much equipment i can let that echo work for me you don't have to push the system aside but it will fill the space you know so all of these are like little things that you'll be looking at when you go on site and make sure you go on site never build a job send out your invoice or anything for a job that you have not seen the location that is definitely a recipe for disaster get a gist of what the client really wants just a rough idea and if you start hearing things like along the lines of like they having djs they having uh, members of little small bands performing go a step above that so that you can make sure that everybody is catered for at the highest level if there's an opportunity to do a rehearsal or something like that factoring all that into your bill also you need to because all of that's expense on you you might be now starting off and stuff like that and you might be a person who might be offering your services to the church for free but the church now having an event and so listen you've been there with us all this time you've never asked for anything we give you this opportunity and uh, you might know how this place is operated already because you've been there so in that you could operate you could make up your bill accordingly as you see fit because you know what the church gives what is going on and stuff like that and they have the much um, the respect to say you know what you have been with us for such a long time you've been offering your services for free and helping us out with everything possible here's an opportunity for you you know and it's really nice to see when people sacrifice their time and then someone turns around in the same organization and give them that opportunity and that could be your breaking point whereby somebody in the church now say wait wait you didn't know that you just got an audio engineering or DJing or whatever the case is and you could see yourself with another job so you have to look at all of these little things make sure that you do not go up there with under the amount of gear that you need if you know is the possibility an eight piece band will be there eight man band will be there make sure you got enough microphones make sure you got enough accelerators quarter inch guitar cables etc for the full band 
because you don't want to be out there scrambling and the engineers that I see running up and down and trying to move too too fast I know already they have already messed up big time massively because when you have things under control you do like me you walk lazily and you go along about your way you just take your cool time and everybody's like oh um so, so yes it's finished and you was like, yes i have that under control it's already finished and we're moving on to such and such the other thing too is about setup understanding the setup for the location how much time do you think it will take you to set up now with me i am a very lazy person so check this out if the event is starting at six o'clock in the evening you can rest assured lazy me already set up about 10 11 o'clock in the morning because i that lazy i do not move fast at all and if i have to run and go and catch another cable or maybe a fuse or some little device i have sufficient time so punctuality is very very important as an audio engineer and when people see you turning up way way before they are put at ease they say okay the song engineer dj is there the music is there the song men are there we don't have to worry about that they could focus on if they have food to sell preparing it and other little things while you start to set up but picture the event starts at six o'clock and 5 30 they didn't see you yet and you have to put in a pretty massive system that is panic all around you you have not cleared the ear to make people relax and want to come in you know and then let's say you have to work alongside a lighting company maybe another guy might be doing the lighting for them not you you know and you could coordinate with him properly he might be getting there uh lighting might need to go up first and then sound after so you all coordinate and then next minute here he got there seven o'clock in the morning he took his cool time and set up his lights and then by 10 11 o'clock when you turn up now all space open up for you to start placing in your speakers etc etc and you still have four or five hours by the time you finish to go home shower get back to the venue and still leave back two three hours to relax and do absolutely nothing because sound check everything has been completed you know the bands the members of the bands and the groups might be just turning up to do some little simple small song check a guy that playing a violin he might be playing a song like um my heart will go on and he just needs one mic and you test that mic you might have a digital board you might have your computer running everything so you can save your presets and everything make sure everything sounds good and you go on clear from there you know so it's that simple a way of setting up and getting a good live sound check all the time it's all about your clients making sure your clients comfortable finding the easiest way out of the situation making sure that you're punctual these are things that go a long way when people see you're punctual they look for you again because what when a ridiculous early hour you already finished setup sound check the people coming to sound check at 12 o'clock and you finish set up early o'clock test the sound system make sure everything is in order they could only feel confident within you that by the time the band is ready to perform later on in the evening that when the first microphone goes on everything no feedback nothing the song is great people ready for a great performance from the band full stop that way tell you i'm very lazy i don't rush no we don't do that as i say already if you need to be running up and down to prove to people that you do things really fast seek professional help get counseling i don't do that no but i am always 10 steps ahead of where i need to be at the point in time that is why i do things the way i do it you know and i make sure that everything is done a plan as i say you must always have a plan of action you got your song system layout as to how it should be set up for the venue plus two you have other things that you need to run through within that plan like 
maybe you might want to do a special sound check on all the microphones on all the cables before you do xyz things that will take a little bit of time you know and then if a problem arises, you give yourself x amount of time before you say hey i need some help with this or calling someone else and say listen i just need i did this 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 and this i did a b c d and you could give me an idea as to what this problem could be you might call a friend or something and they might say oh you did that. I, I used to have that problem blah blah okay they do xyz and tell and call me back and tell me you what, what happened and you do it and then bam problem solved and then you call by person yeah problem solved thanks a lot bro finish but you had time to deal with it you don't be picking out a problem for a whole day and then complaining about it no you give yourself about 10 15 minutes with it if you can't see after that 10 15 minutes calling for you call in for extra hand to help you even if the system is yours because sometimes even though you may own the system there might be one or two little things that you're still forgetting because you know you're still under some pressure whatever the case is so you might just be overlooking something that is so minute and that little thing is what that person just told you that you need to do on the phone you know so don't be don't feel bad about it you get over yourself and just keep pressing but because you're early nobody needs to know and on that topic of nobody needs to know you need to look at it from this perspective now when things go wrong nobody needs to know besides you and your crew you should be there early and everything could go wrong and the only place saying oh it's good to see that something happening and you just testing tweeters and you play your testing mids and but you got a major problem in the background nobody needs to know you sort it out when you play you man they say man i can't believe that they say happening blah 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 you are not in control of your game you need help you need to go and sit down with a counselor yet again and get help stay focused when you're out there on the job things will go wrong you can have a simple situation whereby the vehicle that was coming to the venue roll over one of the sleeping police in the road one of the road humps the gear just leaned aside knocked two boxes clicked and something becomes loose simple things like that and it's not that the person was reckless coming with the bringing the equipment the person drove with due care and attention but sometimes these things do shift while being transported and little cases knocking together and stuff like that from the vibration and things things can come undone so all of these are like little things you have to look at so when you get a problem you act like if there's no problem you speak to everyone and your team and you, and you try to rectify and don't try to be the superhero why you have a team you have two three other guys working with you ask them a question and see what is going on and they might offer you a suggestion that listen if we do xyz abc for now just for today's session we could get this whole thing up and running and it would work for the whole night because nobody will know the only thing that people will know is that the music was played very well the entertainment was very enjoyable and the uh client is very happy with the show nobody needs to know that your equipment had a problem when you're finished maybe about two three years later you could tell them when you're all having some good laughs remember when we did that show xyz and everything was going wrong and people thought that that was the best show that's what you need to do people that's why i say check everything talk with the clients make sure everything is always in order be punctual you know so make sure you have the right amount of gear and the customer understands the need for what you're doing you're good to go this is part two of getting a great sound check i mean there's a lot of indirect stuff it's not even about pushing at levels on the equipment really you know but the indirect things that can cause problems even things like the electricity you might be thinking okay this is a pretty old church or whatever the case is or a pretty old building do i want to plug my system in there do i have a generator do i need to rent a generator you know and you might be finding that in this building you keep on hearing that uh, the breakage is just trick just like that as you put in let's say you plug in a blender clicked breaker trick the fridge going 
and the brake will want to trip every two seconds you know so all these are like little things that you will need to rectify before the day of the show so that you can have them in order because when the customers see that you pull up with a generator and everything is pumping everything is happening clicks and the lights go off but the stage is still set everything is still going on stage they can be comfortable they can be happy because the customers can tell oh that's just the lights out because the stage is um on full stop things are happening on the stage and they could while well, they rectify that one little issue you know they might got a way of dealing with it putting a fan on the breaker or whatever the case is that might be necessary but you already keep the show going because you had a generator as we call it a jenny so look at all of these little things i'm offering you for when you're going out there so on your jobs to make sure that you get a great song check this is part two yours truly dj sound expression enjoy your day peace